You know what? I think I'm going to have to tell Christy just how hard uh, Terry Funk popped me. A little consolation there, perhaps. You know what, man? You are unbelievable, Chico. You are completely unbelievable. This is why the fans love me, and frankly, my friend, why you suck. Hey, wait, whoa, whoa. Before you go rambling, right now, we're going to take a look back at to what led up to the I Quit match between Kid Chaos and Steve Rosano. 21-year-old high-flying sensation Kid Chaos was quickly making his way up the XPW ladder when XPW co-CEO Josh Lazy tested the youngster by making him face both of the West Siders Chronic and Big Rock. Luckily for Chaos, childhood friend Steve Rosano was in the crowd. And after seeing the beating Chaos was taking, Rosano jumped the railing and helped to defend his friend. This led to a renewed bond between the two and a new tag team in Act PW. But their success as a tag team and their allegiance to Lazy drove Rob Black to tear them apart. Black ordered the two to face each other at XPW's, and then there were four. He said that if they did not, they would both be fired. But there was more than met the eye. In the middle of their match, the West Siders came to the ring and attacked Chaos and Rosano, but it was all a setup for Rosano to brutally attack Chaos and then jump his former friend three on one. Chaos demanded a match with Rosano at Vengeance. And while he had him beat, a distraction from Jake Lawless and the God smacked by the Messiah cost Chaos the match. Enraged and dying for revenge, Chaos decided that if Rosano had the Black Army on his side, the only way to beat him would be in a match where pinfall simply would not count. Therefore, he challenged him to an I Quit match, which took place at Go Funk Yourself. As you know, Steve Rosano came in to the XPW, corrupted by Robert Black, the Donald Trump of the professional wrestling. And what has that led to us, please, Clark? Well, look at this. Now we're in an I Quit match, and as you recall, a couple weeks ago on XPW TV, Kid Chaos going to the XPW headquarters, demanding from Vice President of Operations at the time, Kevin Kleinrock, an I Quit match. I mean, obviously wanting this match so there will be no interference from the Black Army. That's right. Hopefully he'll get it. That's right. In the past, Kid Chaos continued attempts to defeat Steve Rizzono have been interrupted by the interference of the army of Robert Black. And Kid Chaos said, I had enough. I want an I quit match. That way, no interference guaranteed. What is with the NWO tank top? It appears he's loyal to Uncle Larry. What is Tio, he doing now? Tio, Tio Eddie. Was he hiding? What was Rosano doing now? Do it. What's going on down there? She's Steve Rosano. Is he talking to somebody? Something? Somebody? He's hiding. Look, he's playing. He's, maybe, maybe the, the friendship is rekindled from back when they were kids. Maybe this is a game of peekaboo, hide and go seek. No, no, Chico. This you is, don't think so? This is classic. This could be a change of heart from Rosano. This is classic Okinawa Pearl Harbor attack Honolulu, Hawaii. Chico, he's getting ready, fixing him up for the attack. And look at Kid Chaos, look at the size of him. In the best shape of his career. Wait a minute, Steve Rosano, he's still, he's still uh, peeking over the ring canvas as if Chaos doesn't know he's there. What's he trying to do? Look at his fan, they love it. They giving love the, Kid Chaos. Giving Kid Chaos all the accolades here at the LA Sports Arena, XPW. No! I tell you, what I tell you, right in the chin. Right in the face, Steve Rosano. Fire whip into the security railing. Sneak attack on behalf of Steve Rosano. This match is now officially underway. An I Quit matchup here tonight for our main event. Kick Chaos into the railing again. I reach whip into the guardrail. Those guardrails, man, they don't bend easy. It's hard top no, metal. They do not. Just ask the fans that sit amongst the ringside area. Speaking of the ringside area, well, now they're back into the ring. Kid Chaos followed up by Steve Rosano. Kick now to the midsection. 
Rosano. Big crowd tonight at the Sport Arena. Excited, excited, enthusiastic about seeing who is going to quit, who's going to give up. Big chaos. And here we go. Or his ex best friend, Steve Wilson. Choke now from chaos. Referee, referee checking out Rosano. Not hear the words I quit of yet. And that's all we need in this matchup. Yeah. There's two simple words of I quit. No pinfall, no count out, no disqualification, only submission. And look at that low blow from Rosano onto Chaos. Chaos for a second there had the, the camel crush almost completely attached on Rosano, but he got out even the low blow. Chaos to the outside now, thrown from Steve Rosano. Referee Patrick Fernandez got to keep an ear open. You hear those two words? I quit. And look at this, Rosano's got a chair. Chaos, however, countering. Fist now to the side of the head. Rosano teetering in the ringside area. And you know, Chris Cross, usually the way the I quit works, is the referee brings, oh. brings the microphone to, to the luchador, to the wrestler, to ask him. So there is no doubt in the mind of the crowd. They hear it. They hear the word I quit in the microphone, in the public address. Rosano throws a chair into the ring now. Another one, two chairs. Steve Rosano, what does he have in mind? Stopping away to the back of the neck of Kid Chaos. A double chair attack. What is this? Do it. Setting up two chairs now, right next to these turnbuckles. Oh no. Wait a minute, Rivera. This is, looks like high altitude, high impact. Maneuver, a big risk for both guys, but before he's, he's softening up, Kid Chaos with some hard slap. And you can hear those chests and you, Ricky Flair. You can hear those chops all the way over here at the announce table. Look at this. Wait a minute. Forearms to the back, softening, softening him up indeed. Wait, suplex coming up? What is this? this is he's got those chairs set up dangerous. still. Steve Rosado with Kid Chaos perch. Oh, wait a minute, Chaos counters. Chaos, wait, what is this? Wow. XPW. Oh! Ooh. A 360 spinning power roll. Whatever that was. Into a sunset flip onto the two chairs. And now, look at this. He's going for a sharp shooter type hold. This could be it. Is he near the rope? Wait a minute, he's trying to move that chair out of the way. I don't think he's close enough. But Kid Chaos releasing the hold. Perhaps have something else in mind. Kid, Stomping now. Kid Chaos making a, a miraculous recovery from that, that attempted superplex on the chair. To the other side, step over Coho takedown. That was a beautiful single leg takedown to step over Coho. As you can see now, Kid Chaos Applying the cross face chicken wing. He's got the, the legs, great bind. This is a beautiful wrestling exhibition right here by Kid Chaos, scientific. Well, that's the name of the game in this matchup, but Rosano quick to grab the ropes, breaking the hole. Referee Patrick Fernandez, assertive, aggressive. Got to the midsection, Chaos, boot right to the face of Rosano. Side headlock now. Kid Chaos, Rosano tries to counter, and look at this! Into a suplex type maneuver! Climbed the ropes like a ladder, did you see that? Beautiful, I, I, I expected the swinging neck break, but that was a beautiful suplex follow-up. Whoa! By Kid Chaos. And did you see him stop on that chair with such authority right on the mug of Steve Rosano? And now Chaos has the chair, holds it high for thousands of fans to see. Oh, look at this. Rosano just barely caught Chaos coming at him with the chair. Rosano recalling just in time to grab the chair and realize what was going to happen. And Chaos' his own chair backfired into his own face. This could be the turning point of this matchup. Wow. Pressure on the neck and, and throat of Big Chaos on this reverse headlock being applied by Steve Pisona. And Patrick Hernandez, referee right there. Listening with all ears. It's very important. Wait a minute, that's it? Hey. What is this? I didn't... Hey, Patrick Hernandez is supposed to get 
He had him in that dragon sleeper hold. And did you, I don't know, I heard something the, over the, the, over the, the PA microphone, system. The microphone is supposed to be in the, the mouse of the wrestler. So there was no microphone in the ring, but we heard something over the PA. And what is Rob Black doing here? Oh, give me a break. Come on. You heard, I quit. I heard, did you hear it? I think. You hear it in the PA? I, there is no microphone in the ring, though. I heard something in the PA, though. Yeah, but what did... I what heard, is, I quit. Me rindo, me I rindo. heard it. Thousands of fans here heard it. But the only person that was supposed... What is this? That's one of our ring crew attendants. Wow. What, what, hey. Who is this guy, this goofy guy? Kid Chaos is demanding. He was under the ring, he said. Kid Chaos solving the problem. Look demanding. at Patrick's got a mic. Kid There's Chaos the demanding that the match be started again. That mic was under the ring along with that goofy ring attendant. Whoa! Patrick Hernandez. Yeah! Oh no, come on. Rob He's... Black just got laid out by Kid Chaos. And then Rosano quick to protect his boss. And look at this. Going Belly to back, pushes Kid Chaos on that top turnbuckle. Chaos trying to counter now. Oh wait, belly to back from the top! Wow. Right on the back of his neck, on the Saito. back of his head! Saito suplex from the second row. And look, he's got Rizzono, that... Rizzono. Wait a minute! Hey. There's a sword! Wait, Rob Black had a sword! It's like a pirate sword! What is he doing with that thing? Oh yeah, Rizzono, calma te. Oh, come on, no! What is this? What is this? Get someone out here right now! Is this the street? He was ready to slice his head right open! He's got that, that pirate sword! What is that thing? How can they allow this? This is illegal! It was hidden inside of his cane the whole time! And now Chaos has got it! No, no! Chaos, no! Come on! Oh, yeah, yeah. You're stupid to his own level! You want to go to jail, man! Come on now! You we gotta to get that? someone out here! I know Rob Black's asking for it, but this is ridiculous! Oh! Stop oh. it, no! Please get someone down here now! This is sick! Yeah, now you're arguing. You're the one that brought the sword down there. Oh, look oh, at no. it. Oh, ah! no! Across the far head. What is Chaos doing? Oh. Oh! Come on! Oh, he's digging it! He's digging it right into his brain! And look look at, at this! He's across the blood. The blood is already starting to run down the forehead. He said it. He said, I quit. Rizzono said, I quit. And in that moment, in that instance, we saw the lips moving. The match is completely over. We actually there saw... Was a sword used in a wrestling match. Never before. Look at this crazy smothers. Oh, he's going after chaos. The whole entire Black Army. Jake Lawless in the ring. Here's... Here's Crack now. Crack goes down by a drop kick from Chaos. The entire, Wallace. The entire Roller Black Army entering into the ring. Look at this. Chaos taking care of everybody. Going upstairs. The flying guillotine from Chaos. Flying guillotine is all over. He's all over. Get Chaos victorious indeed. Chaos adding the insult to the union. Look at this. The whole entire Black Army. And Chaos took care of each and every single one of them. Look at the, the Robert Black Army. Rob Black. They are in a state of panic. A Rob state Black of doesn't panic. know what to do. The army doesn't know what to do. Rosano busted wide open. Do you see and that? Wait, wait, Rob Black's got the microphone apparently. Do you see that Kid Chaos single-handedly taking care of Robert Black Army? You got your balls tonight. You're gonna fight Tracy Smothers! And if you win, Tracy leaves XPW forever!
get the hell out of XPW. Oh, you. Later tonight. See, Larry, you and your boy Rob Black, you guys try to be slick. You try to use any means necessary to win, but a pure grappler like Kid Chaos, this guy who I think is the future of this industry will persevere. Oh, yes.